Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of someone who is moving on. This is someone who's moving into calmer waters. This is someone who is prioritizing peace. There is this feeling of moving away from a conflictual, um, turbulent situation. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy. We have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy. And we have the two of wands, fire energy. Okay, so there is definitely an energy of seeing what else is out there with the two of wands. Really looking at your options, looking at where to go from here. There's this feeling of wanting to move away from a situation and almost kind of like exploring your options or your different paths. And there's this feeling of finally taking action. This could be something you've been waiting for a long time to do. With the seven of pentacles, there's this feeling of patience and um, giving something some time. Um, you, this is not, a, it's almost like it's a premeditated move that's being made here. Okay, so let's see, let's clarify these cards, Cancer. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. So it does look like this a situation that you've dealt with here that's really kind of taught you a big lesson, a spiritual lesson. There's something about seeing something clearly for what it is and taking out that lesson and moving forward with that. Um, with the Hierophant, there's also this emphasis on um, wanting to be more spiritual. So you could be moving towards uh, an, an energy of finding yourself, you know, becoming more close, connected to your spirituality, moving away from a situation that was kind of taking you away from your path. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, and we have the Three of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a breakthrough happening here. Um, it's happening in a way that you didn't plan for. Almost like you may have hoped something would turn out a different way and it, it went a different direction. And as a result, you got a, something from it that you didn't expect to get from it. But it does look like it, it's, it's leading to a breakthrough, a good breakthrough, a positive breakthrough, like you're becoming closer to yourself. With the Nine of Wands, this could be something you were afraid of. But it's like you're you're going towards it regardless. You know, it's like you've been pushed this direction. Something about going with the flow, leading you to this Ace of Swords, this victory. Um, we do have the Three of Cups, which does show that you're getting good news. Like this is a celebratory energy. You're moving towards something that you didn't know you wanted or needed. Um, there's this feeling of an unexpected win here. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Cancer. Okay, so we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So it does look like you're leaving behind something, moving towards something. It's like you're more aware of what your values are, what's um, more compatible with you. There's something here about 
getting to know yourself deeper, your needs, your expectations in love. And there's something about, you know, not settling for a situation that isn't compatible anymore. So you could be moving towards new romantic cycles in your life here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Cancer. So we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it does look like um, things will get better from here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So this does look like something that's been in the works and uh, something you're moving away from. You've been thinking about doing it for a long time. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. So we have surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or to solving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.